What's up, Instagram? Uh, I got another box from Vintage JGB. I ordered two, actually. Uh, got excited with the first one. Didn't do a video on it. Already photographed and put those away. But I'm going to do a quick uh, unboxing, if you will. I already went through it. I already washed the clothes. I'm about to take the photos. But I wanted to shoot this video so people can see uh, what's in the boxes that he sells. Uh, I got this on a sale he ran. He did $65 shipped per box, um, 20 pieces in them. So I paid $3.25 per shirt that you're gonna see. First one we have, uh, this does not have a tag. Super thin, it's like an aqua blue kind of color. Um, early to bed, early to rise, hunt all day and make up lies. So it's kind of one of those funny husband shirts, nothing on the back. Uh, it is definitely old, single stitched. Um, don't know the size, I would say it's a large. This is on a Malacca tag, made in USA. This one is just a giant bright pink cat shirt. This is dope, nothing on the back. Really cool graphic, unfortunately there's some staining on the front, but that's okay. This is a bigger one, this is probably an XL. Not really sure what's going on here. Someone, someone fill me in. No tag. And that's it. It is nothing on the back. Unless I'm missing something and this is famous. I don't know if this is some current guitarist or something when he was a little kid. Otherwise, it's just a random kid on a shirt. I don't know. Someone let me know if that's actually someone famous that will sell. Big Dog Santa Barbara tag. Uh, this one is an extra large. Front has the little chest, Big Dog hit. The back is actually really dope. Cyber Dog, I like that. That's a great graphic. Uh, places to go, things to do, sites to sniff, and then it gives the website for them. Uh, it is time stamped 1997. It is single stitched. There are a couple small flaws. There's a little hole at the top near the collar, uh, some light staining, things like that. Um, that's a great graphic. This is just a basic tank top, Hard Rock Cafe, Los Angeles. Nothing on the back. This is on an anvil tag, size large. It says, nurses are angels among us. Embroidered hit right across the front. Uh, nothing on the back. This one is single stitched as well. This is on an old Fruit of the Loom. Also a size large. It says like a cool, like, I don't know the color. It's red, but it's like on its way to purple. Magenta? Yeah, we'll go magenta. Just a big Florida graphic with a bunch of seashells. Single stitched again. Nothing on the back. Brooks and Dunn, unfortunately, modified in the front. So it was cut down the middle. It's a very small size. I'd say it's maybe in a, it looks like a boxy small. Brooks and Dunn, big graphic on the front, on the back, waiting on sundown. Still cool, no tag, but I would say that's a small. This is Vintage Arrow, which to my knowledge is not a great brand. Just a standard pink polo, very small. Might be a size, this is a size medium. Looks like it would fit a small. A little polo with a pocket cool pastel colors. Next shirt's on a Delta Pro weight. This is a 2XL. This is a larger shirt. This one says, if you enjoy your freedom, thank a vet. Uh, this one is pretty distressed around all of the edges. Nothing on the back. Uh, it is double stitched. Uh, it's got like the collars are all kind of ripped up, you can see, and there's also a big hole under here. So it's kind of destroyed and there's a lot of stains. Next one's on my favorite tag, Screen Stars Best. This one is a size large. Uh, it says, top cover for North America, Alaska, the last frontier. It's for an Air Force base in Alaska. So another destination kind of tee. Uh, nothing on the back, it is single stitched. This next one I think is my favorite shirt in the whole bunch. It's on a, I think it says Laurel Birch. I don't know why that name rings a bell for me. Someone let me know if that's actually 
A, if that's correct, and B, if that's an important name. Laurel Birch sticks in my mind. Just a big graphic. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see all that, but this is single stitched. There is nothing on the back. Uh, and it does not seem to have a timestamp. It says Primal Spirits and then Laurel Birch again. Just got the really cool patterns and some neat colors. This one, by the way, is an extra large. This next shirt is on a Cotton Deluxe. This one has just a green long sleeve shirt. It's Red River Select Red Lager. Next one's on an old Sportswear 2 tag. Two. This one's a old Washington DC destination t-shirt. The cool little rainbow colors. Nothing on the back again, it's a single stitched. No timestamp on it, but it's definitely old. This feels like 80s, it's very thin. Uh, this one is a large. That would definitely fit a medium. Chase Authentics tag with another tank top. This one is for Dale Earnhardt, Intimidator, number three. Nothing on the back. This one seems to be in good condition. No flaws, stains, anything like that. Next shirt's on a old Fruit of the Loom tag made in Canada. It is an Alaska Cruise shirt, Last Frontier. Pretty standard, just that little hit on the chest. It is single stitched. This one is a XL. The tag's kind of getting ripped off. Uh, I don't see a size, I think it's a medium. Might fit a large, actually. I'll go large. It says Nike Sports Gear. It's like a cream colorway. And the tag's like really faded away. I think this is a medium. Shades of the Past, 1988. Run number six, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I know it's in bad condition, but man, that graphic is so cool. I love those like retro vaporwave kind of colors. I love that stuff so much. Nothing on the back, the stripes going down the sleeve. Great graphic. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's really roughed up in the front and there's a hole in the back as well. Next shirt's on a suntan tag. This one I believe is a medium suntan. This one has cool colors. Tobago K's with a lot of those kind of primary colors. Our last piece is on a Hanes. This is an extra large. This is actually a crew neck sweater. Uh, and this one just says Engine 50, Bristol, Pennsylvania, for the fire department. And that's it. So I spent $325 per item, uh, 20 items, $65 shipped. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this box. Um, and also leave a comment or message me if you're interested in buying anything. Everything that you just saw is going to be for sale. Uh, so if you want to kind of get a deal before it goes up on the selling platforms, uh, let me know.